Dolphins lead students aboard the RV Weatherbird 2 into the Gulf for their first experience aboard a research vessel, the destination, 27 miles offshore to a station sampled in past expeditions. The captain, Boomer Baumeister, and USF professor Heather Junkins. They stand watch in the bridge looking for the right location for biodiversity samples. It's the first time these university students have ever used oceanographic instruments at sea. This is the ultimate learning program for university students enrolled in the FIO Summer Marine Field Studies class. Out here, they'll get an appreciation for sampling and classifying organisms that can't be accomplished in a textbook or lecture. This is Life at Sea as a Marine Scientist. The data starts with the CTD dropping 65 feet nearly to the seafloor. Salinity, dissolved oxygen, temperature, and depth, they're all metrics critical to figuring out the water column profile. In the electronics lab, students wait for the right depth to trigger the Neskin bottle shut. The Weatherbird crew, they're seasoned at hauling large heavy equipment on and off the deck. Each trawl is uniquely designed to capture organisms from different habitats. Small or typically microscopic plants and animals are scooped up in this bongo net. The plankton is funneled into cups which are then taken into the vessel's dry lab for analysis. Action shifts to the back deck. Buckets are prepared for a catch which initially targets benthic creatures. The dredge tow scoops up organisms living on the bottom consisting mainly of crabs, starfish, sand dollars, and many sponges. Students sort through organisms and use field guides to find clues to the many species they've never seen before. As one group organizes the specimens, another prepares to make a catch above the benthos. This requires a bigger net. But will it be the same stuff? We're taking a look at the otter trawl now. It's been down for about 15 minutes. And in this net, we're probably going to see some of the bigger fish here pulled up onto the RV Weatherbird. Here it comes. Take a look. In this seminal moment, students get the rush of discovery. Organisms hit the deck in organized madness. Bright vests, yellow hard hats, scrambling for the catch. Counting, sorting, identifying, and rushing against the clock, the teams work together to learn about the different habitats and diversity. The day turns into night, and the plan now is to perform the same trawls under the stars. The tea grows, but the catalyst is curiosity during the 14-hour trip, and the second go-around pulls in different organisms for further study. The program is part of a five-week class traveling around the state, which continues to grow each summer. FIO will support the next generation of marine scientists with field training experiences like this into the future. All right, perfect. Thanks.